In this video, we're going to look at the mediums that increase the gloss of artist's acrylic colour. Those being gloss medium, gloss gel and glazing medium. The key point to note here is that due to the unique clear binder that's been used, the mediums are translucent or clear when wet and completely clear when dry. Look at the clarity and translucency of the new gloss medium when wet. especially when compared to these competitor gloss mediums. These look really white and opaque. Now, if I mix some of our permanent alizarin crimson in with these to increase the gloss of the paint, you can see as I mix it in with the new gloss medium, there's no loss of colour depth and there'll be no change of colour as that dries. If I mix it in with these competitor gloss mediums, it's, starting, it's making the alizarin crimson go pink. It's really lightening the colour, so I've no, no way of gauging how this is going to look when it's dry. And then into the third, final one. Again, it's shifting the colour. It's making it look pink. You can see it's even streaking it. It doesn't mix in very well at all. So this is really difficult during my painting process because I need to account for this milkiness, this opacity in these ranges, where I don't have to with the new artist acrylic range here. So as you can see, literally quite clearly, that the performance of the new Winsor & Newton gloss medium is far superior to anything that is currently available. The three gloss mediums that are available within the new range are gloss medium, which has a fluid consistency, so this means that you can add gloss to your acrylic colour and slightly reduce the brush stroke retention. It's good for painting out flat areas of high gloss colour a gloss gel which has a thicker consistency that actually matches the luxurious buttery consistency of the acrylic colour. So when you add this in, all you're going to be doing is increasing the gloss and as you add more and more the transparency will also increase but you get the same great feel on the brush or on the knife, good peak retention, good brush stroke retention. And then a glazing medium. This third glazing medium offers the most gloss available. It has high transparency, good levelling properties and is good for glazing, hence the name glazing medium. I'd like to point out that the glazing medium can actually be applied neat as a clear glaze. But what I'd also like to point out here is that it's not advisable to use this as a varnish because it's non-removable. All artist varnishes are designed to be removed. A good way to show the difference between our new glazing medium and a competitor's glazing medium is to do a drawdown test on this lab machine here onto a contrast card. So the contrast card is loaded up into the machine and then just apply a small amount of the new Artist Acrylic glazing medium alongside an equal amount of a competitor's glazing medium. Instantly you can see that the new Artist Acrylic glazing medium is much more clearer, much more clarity to that. And then as you draw it down over the contrast card, okay so you can see side by side here the new uh, Artist Acrylic glazing medium is translucent when wet, whereas the competitor's is actually opaque when wet. This means that if I mix a colour through this, I'm going to get a nice clean glaze with this that is going to dry completely clear, whereas this will clear or become clear as it dries. I'm not going to get a clean glaze and I'm not going to be able to judge what the dry colour is going to look like because there's going to be a real vast colour shift on this. So to summarise, the three gloss mediums in the new Artist Acrylic Mediums range are gloss medium, gloss gel and glazing medium.